Greetings and welcome. You're listening to Planet Verlock Psionics Digirati. All right, so today's headline is simplifying the occult world and the technocracy, as well as why you want to be in the Verlock Psionics Club. Let me give you the link real quick. It's V R I L O C K dot club C L U B. Okay, so why you want to be in the club? A lot of people do join um, as sort of like uh, having magic or psychic insurance. You know, we're all good friends. Uh, I've had people in the club for oh. Uh, five years tops and uh, still growing strong and um, you know after we get to know each other um, messaging uh, to me the headmaster of the Sionic Avengers and Sionic Brotherhood and um, yes sisterhood too we have many women in the club as well we're all one big happy family of learning uh, students and even some seasoned practitioners so yeah insurance is one of the things like people will ask me for help now and then and I do give it when I can I'm uh, also a busy human being myself and so we're all quite human and that's that's really one of the big subjects I wanted to touch on today is the re-emergence of human in the midst of all of this techno monstrosity and as psionicist um, people who practice psionics by the way that is for those of you whom are new um, it's psychic ability at the active level uh, it's known in parapsychology as something called psychopa which just basically means active psychic energies as opposed to passive that's one interpretation of psionics the other is of course uh, mind and electronics um, that falls into a category of um, uh, I'm sure you've heard of radionics and psychotronics that's a second interpretation of psionics um, and the third one is essentially engineering concepts applied to paranormal phenomena right now that's a mouthful I'm simply talking uh, psionics in the terms of your mind at the center of all things, right? Your will applied to practiced uh, mentalism, as it was once called in the early 1900s, mentalism, and sometimes it was referred to as the occult, or more often than not, I should say. And that came over to the United States um, either in the late 1800s or early 1900s um, by a Russian woman mystic um, who influenced the works of William Walker Atkinson, um, one of the uh, founders of the New Thought movement of that time. But in any, any event, not to go off on a tangent here, I'm talking about um, your world being ruled over by a technocracy and then what you can do about it utilizing the occult and so i've been doing this for years um something like almost 40 years of involvement in the paranormal and psychic world i should say and i have a big story and background about that you can go back and listen to my other podcast or uh, read, read my books, the Verloc Practical Guides Trio, and learn about my story, um, leaving America at a very early age of six, turning seven, going over to Saudi Arabia, um, some experiences I had there that I brought back with me. Later in my adult years, uh, doing some spiritual work overseas while living in Japan for several years. And you can learn about my story there and uh, why you think I'm the right teacher or uh, mentor or friend for you to speak to in the Verloc Club. V-R-I-L-O-C-K dot club. All right, so essentially what we do is psionics um, and this is willpower applied to focus concentration on very simple things 
but we do apply focused concentration and utilizing simple patterns, uh, sometimes prayer boards, uh, awesome amplifiers, and then again, radionics for those of you who are interested in turning dials and making change in the conformity in the world to uh, conform to uh, what you want uh, the world to be or making changes in your life uh, karma or log and um, and so on right so I've been at this for a number of years like when I've influenced um, saying hey Musk Elon Musk uh, why don't you just give the um, internet to Brazil for free for a year and you know see what happens after that, boom, he offered it for free. You know, some hours later, yeah, he, he went ahead and offered it for free. So I thanked him for it. Thank you very much. Um, and it, it's happened like that a number of things. Like we, we tried to influence as a group in the Psionic Avengers in the club. We had a club project years back called Project Dragnet. Now that's not to be confused with the project um, by the FBI. Uh, researching um, uh, former President Trump. This is a completely different project, just a coincidence on the name there. But Dragnet used to be an old TV show uh, about it. Uh, a cop named Joe Friday who would, um, you know, do these investigations as a detective and discover the truth behind murders and so on. So we decided to call it Project Dragnet, and what that was about was. Um, forcing the media's hand to have no choice but to start telling the truth <laughs> and in some ways it's worked i mean we're, we're seeing snippets of the truth pop out every day um and it, it's it was fun so how did we do it um you know since it's a past project it's it's no longer oh hush hush you know so now i can just talk to you about it um we used a special uh, compound glyph that I created and I passed it on to my graphic designer to jazz it up and make it really nice and look something like uh, one of those NFTs. <laughs> and it came out really lovely, really. Um, so we made a, a sort of a Project Dragnet um, Egregore, which is a collective thought form. And I asked all my club members, hey, you guys jump in on this and uh, fuse your energy into it and here's the purpose so the purpose and the instruction was to send energy to this um, collective thought form this egregore and have this egregore nested so I did the lifting lifting this egregore up putting it remotely into the ceiling of drumroll please at the um, National Academies yeah, or I don't know, the National Academies. And basically, they're going to influence all what can or cannot be said, right? Then, of course, we put these vibes out over um, AI nodes. Fetch AI, yeah, remotely you can use all those nodes as amplifying patterns. And so that's really the, the point of this is not the dragnet story. The point of this is that anything the technocrats build in the world, any of those constellations of satellites, any of those AI nodes, any of those androids, Sophia, you're mine, I own you, bitch. And, you know, I'm being funny, but in, in truth, whatever they build is the circuit for you to work on. You know, they're building that infrastructure thinking they're going to control you. And I'm saying you're going to control them because you're going to use psionics. And with psionics, life is good because you are in control. And that's the purpose. So, look, I can um, run through the various um, types of occult teachings out there. And let's just run through them real quick um, so that you have an idea of what is out there. So we have Hermeticism which is developed around the second century, um, and it's based on a collection of texts once uh, attributed to Hermes Trismegius. Jeez, did I say that right? Well, essentially Hermes. So Hermeticism is based on the teachings of Hermes, um, who was um, thought to be perhaps um, Thoth, T-H-O-T-H, -T -H, um, who 
went to uh, Egypt and taught um, the occult and the teaching is basically that um, there were um, beings on a higher level of reality who passed information down to human beings in very ancient early times and this knowledge was guarded um, mainly because they thought the multitude would run amok with it and you know like chickens with their heads cut off and running around doing things that just didn't make sense or most people wouldn't comprehend it now today we're a little more complex in our contemporary society and i think that we can handle this information and so did william walker atkinson back in the early 1900s so there you have it we also have neoplatonism uh, founded in the third century by um Plot Plotinus, jeez, these names, they really love these like Latin sounding names. Um, I could go off on a tangent talking about our um, ancient uh, Norse and uh, Germanic, um, <laughs> you know, beginnings of our Greek and, Greek and Latin roots and so on are uh, kind of like the thing that came later. But, you know, we, we had a, a lot of uh, Germanic words or originally um, which uh, developed English. Anyway, it Neoplatonism is based on the philosophical works of Plato. Well, pff, wouldn't you know? Um, the Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, uh, as discussed in a variety of sources, most notably the Zohar. Gnosticism um, depicts reality as perfect souls created by a perfect God, but trapped within the material world that was created by an imperfect or perhaps evil spirit. There is alchemy, the study of transmutation on both a physical and spiritual level. We have astrology, uh, determining the influences working on earth that originate in the celestial bodies, right? Oh, that's interesting. A lot of people like astrology, I do too. Numerology, one of my favorites, is the manipulation of numbers to reveal additional information and meaning. You ever see the number 444 pop up on your clock all the time and on your receipts from the gas station or local 7-Eleven? Yeah, so do I. And I mean, these numbers pop up as sort of like angelic numbers that let you know, hey, you're on the right path or maybe um, you got that um, 666 and you're thinking, oh my God, there's something wrong with me. You know, and that usually just means that you need to pay attention to uh, spiritual pursuits more than just thinking about money. Everybody's thinking about money, man. Where's the fucking money? Where's your fucking money? And that's what these numbers are there to kind of guide you and set you right back on course, you know, so that we stay human, right? Because that's the purpose. The purpose is to evolve as humans to be more angelic, more godlike, I should say. Um, as opposed to becoming super cybernetic mutations, right? Uh, both are interesting, but the bottom line is that we are humans and that's our path, okay? Uh, Thelema. Um, this is very popular and uh, spreading um, a, a religion and philosophy based on the writings of Aleister Crowley. Um, I'm not a real big fan of Aleister Crowley, honestly. Um, but it's concerning the seeking and expression of one's true will or destiny. And I agree with that in, you know, as it's written there, uh, that we are seeking true will or destiny. Um, and as opposed to simply just living our lives um, and following the fates, or um, in the Norse terminology, we call that the three Norns, um, who stand at the well of weird or the well of mimmer and um, instead of following fate we seek our true will and for forge our destiny like a blacksmith of the mind and that is the essence of psionics which I'll get to so in the next one which is really popular is Wicca it's a neo-pagan religion that stresses esoteric knowledge and now it's the opposite by the way of exoteric which is common knowledge esoteric knowledge and personal spiritual experience that's equally important as um, true will so these are these are all wonderful pursuits and very interesting um, and you probably have delved into uh, one or two or a number of these perhaps all of these um, 
mysteries and um, aspects of mysticism and you're very curious about metaphysics and this is why you're you're listening to this show uh, to my podcast is because you want to know um, how is psionics different um, why should I bother to use it I'm going to tell you uh, the simple reasoning here is it's nice to have a comfort zone to return to to be honest I mean I've delved into everything from runes um, uh, angelic magic all the way to um, the new uh, forms of chaos magic and chaos magic by the way just simply it's essentially creative magic with um, a lack of adhering to the rules of uh, traditional magical systems you know you create your own sigils and, and so on so that's chaos magic and uh, one of the leaders in that area of magic is um, Andre Vitimus I've read through his works and followed him a, a bit too um, but my system is essentially a very comfortable place to be which is you're centering back into your true self which sort of aligns with uh, Thelema and uh, it's very natural so it kind of uh, aligns with Wicca too and it also aligns with alchemy because we're, we're doing a transmutation where we're allowing the old self or the persona self that was created by society the various institutions that we've um, have lived through uh, the peer pressure of peers and um, friends and associates and co-workers and bosses and you know all the con the control mechanisms of society and we're sort of like shedding that off like old snake skin and we're re-emerging and going ah i found my true self here's my center of will and i teach this how to find it because once you find this and you have it now you can forge your destiny so the comfort of psionics is coming back to simplicity and then anything complex you want to do you have various patterns and arrangements that you can work with and you have that very focused um, comfort and convenience available to you in psionics so that is the gist of it so i want to wrap up this podcast by saying um, the world is a wondrous place and at times it can seem an overwhelming and oppressive place but you always have a home to return to at verloc.club and I am always here for you and I have been please go and read the reviews at verloc.com slash reviews and see what everyone has to say who's been in the club who is in the club um, people whom have worked with the miraculous prayer board as featured and talked about by George Norrie on coast to coast and Joshua Warren and learn about my awesome amplifiers which are very easy to use you just take the video course and print out some of the amplifiers now you have the knowledge of how to use the meditation that makes these amplifying patterns work and it's simple there's not a whole bunch of stuff you need to get tied up with like which god or goddess or which season or the phases of the moon albeit um, having that occult knowledge is useful understanding the waxing and waning of the moon and when to apply influence but my system of awesome amplifiers can be used at any time all you need is the meditation guidance uh, that I give you through that video course awesome amplifiers to change your life and this is going to help you phenomenally so please take the awesome amplifiers video course buy a miraculous prayer board and meditate every morning with it just relax breathe through that prayer board and the sacred balanced geometry of the prayer board will ease your mood calm your mind and cleanse your aura so you're prepared for your day or use it before you go to bed so your dreams are more fluid and kind to you when you go to sleep at night don't be bothered by evil embrace the verloc psionics join the club verloc.club and i'll see you there 
Okay, lords and ladies, thank you for joining me. And until next time, as always, always keep the magic high. Red Doctor, command.